Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory. Go see Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers out there pushing out this word in truth and serious. But Chanak, once again, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Wadash, Shalom, Shalom. And this uh, <clears throat> is basically a continuation from the last video I did. Uh, just uh, just turning on the recorder um, You know, it was a walk and talk lesson, you know, the spirit was on me And uh, you know, I was running an errand, you know, and uh, but basically my, my battery pretty much was about to die You know, so you know, I had to cut that that short so the spirit is still on me You know and um, whatever the Lord feed me, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak And uh, I was thinking about this scripture because after I ran the errand I was walking back home this scripture was popping into my mind. Let me bring this out. First Thessalonians 5 and 19. Quench not the spirit. Okay, short and sweet. Quench not the spirit. So let me go into that word quench. Okay, the spirit is still on us. You know, spirit still on you. You know, speak. You know, <clears throat> don't, don't quench the spirit. So this is basically what's going on right now. Okay, to extinguish. Let me get that in the Greek. Strong's G, 4570, Spanumi. Spanumi. Right, the, to extinguish the quench of fire or things on fire. Right. The, the, the spirit is, is as fire. Okay, brothers that be on fire. Oh, that brother's on fire. Well, it's the spirit of Yah Bashamal Shai. Okay. So the, the spirit is still on, you know, on, on that. Hey, that's why when you see men doing the videos, it's not, it's not the man that's doing the video. It's the spirit of the Lord. Okay. Yah Bashamal Shai, he's a consuming fire. Okay, and he'll send that fire down, okay, in the form of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is as fire, okay, of fire or things on fire to be quenched, to go out, uh, to quench, to suppress, to stifle a divine, divine influence. Right, don't, don't stifle, don't suppress that divine influence. And I was, hey, I was rushing home. I was like, man, I don't, you know, I don't want the Spirit, I don't want the Spirit to, uh, to, to leave, you know. Uh, you know, Jake's still on fire, man, because there's so much. <clears throat> Let me bring out a scripture. Another scripture I was thinking about this, the, the, the spirit. A hey, there's so much to, to speak about. OK, the, hey, there's so there's so much to speak about. OK, from the MOTB to these false uh, prophets. OK, to the prophecy in general. OK, so much prophecy is going on in the earth. OK, and we're at the we're at the, the cusp of all hell breaking loose. We're at the cusp of Jacob's trouble. Okay, and also the prophets is here to clean up all the mess of the false prophets. Okay, and to lead the flock of Yah Bashamal Shai to the right, uh, in the right direction. I'm gonna bring out another scripture where the Lord told Peter, I believe that's in John, um, feed my sheep. Right, yep, John 21. So let me bring out this first and then we'll go to John 21. <clears throat> This is uh, Isaiah 61 and 1. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Right. When we do these videos, it's because the spirit of Yah Bashamal Shai is upon us to do these videos. And when the spirit is not on you, man, you be like, man, you know, like earlier today, well, the whole video of just turn on the camera, the spirit wasn't really on me. You know, you know, I was, you know, just watch. I was watching videos all day. I even wanted to go into uh, do some reading when I just didn't get I didn't get to. You know, but I was like, you know what? Let me just turn. Let me just turn on the recorder, okay? And 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 then the spirit comes, okay? Sometimes that happens, okay? And then sometimes you just in the spirit, you hey, you got you got to speak, okay? If you're a real man of Yah Bashamal Shai, this spirit is inside you, it's burning as a fire, okay? Well, Jeremiah said that. Let me let me get that. Uh, damn, what is it? I might just have to search it. in the book of Jeremiah. I might be having the, um, the wording wrong. Right, yep, that's it. Jeremiah 20. Okay. Jeremiah 20 and 9. You know, I'm jumping around, but that's, hey, that's how, you know, that's how you read the scriptures. You know, the spirit, the spirit is, uh, is, is as the wind. Okay. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah 20 and 9. Let me start at 8, actually. 
Uh, Jeremiah 20 and 8. For since I spake, I cried out, I cried violence and spoil, because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily. Right. And this word is, is, is as a, a reproach and a derision because the whole world is, is coming against us and there and the, and the spirit of the world coming against us is only increasing. Not only from Esau, Edom, the wicked, OK, uh, uh, as well as our people, the unbelievers of our people and a false prophet who took in a, 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 a gift. OK. It says, then said, I, I would not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name. See, because when we do these videos, what do we open up with? We open up and we let you know who the spirit of this video. Where is this video come from? The inspiration of this video. OK, who who's speaking through us is the Heavenly Father. Yah Shaman Shai. OK, so we're making mention of his name because if it was up to us, I mean, really, <laughs> There's a lot of guys out there that is speaking their name and you, you know what? They got a lot of followers. Okay. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire. See the word, the word in our heart, in our mind is as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing. Let's look at this word forbearing, meaning not to speak. Okay. Hey, this, hey you, hey, you a man of the Lord. You, every, of course, every man has their measure. Every man has their, their um, amount of spirit that the Most High gave them to prophesy and to do the good works. Okay. And a certain men have more measures than others. That doesn't mean you're better than a certain man. It just, you got to, you got to, you got to use that measure. You got to use that talent, whatever talent the Most High gave you. You got, you got to use that thing. Okay. Uh, this word to seize, to contain. Ka, ka law, ka wall. Let me just see. Right, that word, forbearing. To same measure, ch -ch -ch, endure, hold on, restrain. Right, see the restrain. To hold, hold in. See, contain. Hey, you can't, you can't re really, you can't hold in this word, man. You can't hold in if the spirit of the Lord is on you. Hey, you got to speak. It, it, it's, 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 well, let's read. Let's read it again. This is what Jeremiah said. This is how the word was in Jeremiah. OK, so we we they want us to stop speaking. They want us to stop speaking uh, in, in the name of the Lord. But we can't. OK, we we was we are set up by the Heavenly Father to speak these words. OK, to play our part. OK, in this movie. OK, and 144,000 prophets that have been risen up in these last days to speak the name of to speak the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the prophecies. Let me read it from the top again. Okay. Then said I, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name. And sometimes you feel like that. You done, you done with it, you know. But then that spirit, that's a hey, that spirit overwhelms you. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing to hold in. Okay, to hold these words in, and I could not stay. Okay. Let's look at this word stay. That word forbearing means to hold in. I don't really, let me do forward. I don't really give you the word stay. Let me see. Right. And I could. This might be it. Reverse. Just give me a moment. That word stay. Searching. Did it really give me uh, <clears throat> the definition in that? Stay. To remain, remain, endure. Hold on. I mean, pretty much what it was, you know, to hold on. To cause, to f stand firm, maintain. Right. Like, just like, you know, you know, for example, me walking back home, hey, the spirit was still on me. I'm like, hey, man, let me, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta speak more. Cause the video, you know, the video that the last video I was doing, you know, the spirit was on me, and then, but my battery's about to die, you know. So I just handled my business, and I was like, hey, man, let the spirit, if the spirit, the Lord's will, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a come back, and and I'm just gonna do a continuation, okay. 
which shit, I ain't got nothing else to do. Okay. It's, it's the Shabbat. Let me read that again. Then said, I, I would not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name, but his word. Okay. The words of Yah Bashamal Shai. They're, hey, they're with us from the time we wake up in the morning to the time we go to sleep. We're constantly meditating on the words. Okay. We're constantly meditating on lessons. Oh, that, that can be a good lesson. You might write down a scripture. You know, I got several lessons that I wrote down that I haven't even touched yet. And in the spirit, you know, you might come back to that. You might open up a notebook or you might be watching a video and, and, and you get the inspiration from another brother. OK, or you might even be watching TV. OK, or, or a conversation that you might have had with somebody in the world or a conversation you have with a brother. OK, that that's that spirit sparks. OK, but his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay, meaning he couldn't, he could, he had to speak. Okay. He had to speak. So that's the spirit. That's the spirit that the prophets will be in. They will have to speak. What well, was another scripture? Let me bring this out. Isaiah 62. But let me go to, um, let me finish Isaiah 61. Okay. Isaiah 61 and one, the spirit, which the spirit is as fire of the Lord is upon me. Okay. This is Yahweh Shai, but it's also. This is speaking about uh, the men in the stead of Yahweh Shai now. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, he's physically not on the earth anymore. Okay, he went into the heavens. He's standing on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, distributing the spirit, okay, to his men down here on the earth. Okay, to speak in his stead. Because the Lord, see, has anointed me to preach good tidings. And this is, this is what we're doing. We're speaking the gospel, the good tidings. Okay, to our people, letting you know, hey, look, the Most High, he's about to come and deliver us. Okay, we, hey, you gotta, you gotta change your way. You gotta come back to Yah Bashamal Shai before he comes to the earth and destroys this place, and you, and you uh, be part of the lake of fire. You be part of his righteous indignation. Okay, and the remnant will return. Okay, unto the meek, right? The meek is speaking about the Israelites. Okay, the meek shall inherit the earth. He has sent me. To bind of the brokenhearted. So that's part of our job is to bind of the brokenhearted. Not us physically doing it, but by speaking the words of Yah Basham al Shai. The word is what heals. The word is that healing ointment. Okay? The word is the physician. Now we're physicians under the Lord, but ultimately the knowledge of to be a physician comes from the Heavenly Father. Okay? He has sent me to bind up the broken heart. Are we not brokenhearted? Our heart has been broken. Here in Babylon the Great. Okay, to this very day, each individual, each, excuse me, each individual of the elect is catching nothing but pure hell, man. Okay, anxiety all the goddamn time. You got pains in the body. Okay, you subject to payments. Okay, you you have the, the pretty much the scraps on the table that fall off the table. Okay, and then the wicked, they have they have the, the choice of everything. Okay, but hey, that's the way that is set up. But very soon, part of the gospel is saying that, hey, very soon, the, the, the roles are going to be reversed, okay? To proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power. Right, yeah, the day of vengeance. This is heavy, okay? Because, hey, we've been getting, we've been getting our ass kicked here in Babylon the Great. Our enemies, they've been boasting themselves against us. They've been talking mad things against us. They've been able to destroy us constantly with no recompense, okay? But we're speaking of a day of vengeance, okay, upon our enemies through Yah Basham al Shai, okay? To comfort all that mourn. And we're in mourning. Well, we're in a house of mourning, okay? Ecclesiastes 7, let me bring that out. Okay, every day, every day is mourning here in Babylon the Great until our Lord comes and destroys this place. That's when we're going to have that smile on our face. That's when we're going to be able to relax and enjoy the earth. Well, the earth was created for our sakes. But what but we're, we're we're under the heathen. We're under the Moabites. We're under the Elamites. Okay, all nations look at us as trash. Okay? And they want to have nothing to do with and they and they are they are they they will be elated for us to be destroyed off the planet earth. Okay? So they can have their own, you know, bugged out dystopian world, you know, Filled with this nothing but just madness in the earth, but that's not that's not what's about to go down. Their plan is about to be crushed. 
Okay, thus said Yah Bashma Shai. Let me read this out. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. A good name. Um, no, no, no. Verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning. Okay, so yeah, this is a good, this is a good thing that we're in the house of mourning. Okay, it's 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 it's, it's hey, it's the best thing because it gets your mind right. Okay, you're constantly meditating on the kingdom. You're you're constantly meditating on the end. Hey, the, the, the time that we're coming into is is a is a very a very very serious time that we're about to we're about to enter into, and we see the beginning stages of that. We see that we we see the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of evils. Okay, we see the famine brewing. Okay. And there will be certain people, oh, you look mean. Why you look so mean all the time? You know, you know, you got a, a serious look on your face. Because you hey, we're we're meditating on the, the, the prophecies, man. And the prophecies is not no, you know, light thing. Now there's certain, you know, there's certain, you know, good prophecies as far as us being in the kingdom, and this and that, and that, and this, and and the and the and the, the precious things that the most high is gonna give to us. But before that can even happen, we gotta go through the street. Okay, we got to go through the straight and narrow and we got to suffer, which we're going through that suffering uh, right now. Okay, that suffering. Give me a second. <clears throat> that suffering is taking place right right now as we speak. Okay, but it's a good thing as we're reading it. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. And you have certain Israelites that believe, oh, now that I'm an Israelite. Oh, we're, we're God's chosen people. Yes, you're absolutely correct. You are. OK. Oh, we're, we're, we're going to receive the king. We got next. Absolutely. Yes, you're, you're right. You we are going to re receive the king. we do have next. OK. But that doesn't give you occasion or, or liberty to, 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 to just to, just to throw your hands in the air like the victory has been won. OK. You don't know if you're going to make it. OK. The righteous shall scarcely be saved. This is a this is a very serious matter. OK. <laughs> and you, you got the, uh, these other Israelite groups that now it's a party now. Now, it, now Israelite parties, dancing and, and this. And you know what? This is what I want to do because I was watching this the other day. This is complete madness, man. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. <sighs> Hebrew nation building. Okay. Just look, look at this bullshit. This is what this is what these Israelites are doing. Okay. Th this is what these Israelites are doing. Now it's a party. Now, this is the first time me seeing, I've seen this the other day, it's popped up on my feed, but there's so many different Israelites out there, you know, um, I mean, there's so many, I don't really get into these different groups because, hey, we already got the truth, okay? We, we already got it. That's just the way that it, I ain't trying to say it like it's proud or anything, but that's just the way that it is, okay? Now, it's not even, I'm not even getting on this group, I don't know this group, I'm not even getting on, but I'm just showing you. This Jake is Jake is not in the right spirit, man. And and what and lo and behold, you have the woman. Okay, Let, let's just I'm just going to breeze through this a little bit just so you can see this. Okay, this is total madness. It's a party. Hold on. We met it. This dude right here, he got a whole, he got a whole axe in his hand, man. And that look like a jab fight, you know, with certain of these Israelite groups, they have the, the tribe of Naphtali or, or, the, or the, the Polynesians. OK, now I could be wrong, but I, I, she look like a jab fight. OK, Jaffet is not part of this.
I just wanted you to see that, right? Hebrew nation, we're not building a nation, man. We're, this, we're speaking to the elect. This is a call out to the elect only, okay? Not all, not all Israel. And you can see Israel is completely bugged out, okay? And these are going to be the people, the Israelites, who are going to be slaughtered by the sword when Esau Edom comes in. He's not going to differentiate, oh, you, you not, you're, 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 you're with it, you know, you, you like uh, America, or you're not against America. They, they just going to see you as an Israelite, and they're going to come in. And, and as you can see, it's nothing but women, okay, leading praise or whatever. You, oh, there's just one video. Why you get, if you go on their, go on their website, I mean, go on their, their page, you see it's nothing but bullshit. Number one, they call it on, on a, a, a different name. I just wanted to, to show that, you know. It's complete madness. They was doing that for like three hours straight, okay. And they got several videos of them just dance. It's not. This is not a. This is not a game, okay. Let me let me let me read the scripture again. It is better to go to the house of mourning, okay. Well, we're a. Hey, this thing is simple, you know. Yeah, we get together as you know brothers. We don't we don't meet up with. We don't bring our wives and all that now because when, when you bring women in a, a mix, it's going to be confusion. First first of all. A man and a woman, there's already sexual tension right there. That's just the way that it's set up. Okay, when you see a woman, you get aroused. Okay? So we don't have, you're not, we're not around other other brothers' women. We don't have women in a congregation. Okay? The woman, she has her place, and that's at home taking care of the children. Okay? We're not in a time of feasting. Do you understand what this man's about to do? Great slaughter is coming. Okay, a sword is sharpened. Okay, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. This is pretty much the house of feasting, and this is pretty much like a black church. Okay, what a what a Israelite twist to it. And this was what this what what Jake was doing, you know, uh, uh, um, before Jake got taken down. This is why Jake got taken down. Okay, further all, first first of all, they were calling on different names. Okay. You see, you know, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. For that is the end of all men. Yes, yeah, the end. And the living will lay it to us heart. Right, it will lay it to your mind. No, that, that's not the way to go. Sorrow is better than laughter. Okay. The majority of the time we're in a sorrowful spirit. And there's nothing really that can get us out of this spirit other than Yahweh Shai coming and destroying our enemies. Setting us up. Okay. Because we, we, were, uh, we were created to inherit the earth. We were created to be over all nations. Okay. And us... Us, you know, really, we're sorrowful about the things that we did. Okay, we went off. Ultimately, it was the Lord's. It was nothing that we could have done. We had to go off. We had to experience evil. Okay, and through the power of the Lord, we, we now we're we're coming back. Okay, but it's the 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 war. I mean, ultimately, we're gonna be in the kingdom. All Israel are gonna be righteous. Okay, we gonna we gonna be over all the nations. But the war pretty much is not won yet. Okay, the the there's no there's really no reason to 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 uh, celebrate, 
The only joy we have is in the Lord, knowing that the prophecies are coming to pass. That's our joy. That's that's our life. We don't have we don't have a life here. There is there is nothing here. There's nothing that Esau can give us. And I'm speaking about the true men of Yah Basham Al Shai. Okay, there's nothing Esau can offer us. Okay, to to you know to to satiate us. Okay, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the continents. The heart is made better. See, the mind is made better by the sadness, by the sorrowness. The heart of the wise, see, the heart of the wise, you know what? I got, I got to get it. Okay, I got to get it. Matthew 25. Let me hold that on deck. Ugh. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So really, this thing of ours is, is the house of mourning. That's why, you know, a lot of Israelites... They don't like so-called great millstone. Okay, they don't like the doctrine of great millstone, which is not our doctrine. It's the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's prophecy. And through the, and in the prophecy state that we're coming into crazy ass times. We're coming into hard times. And the Lord, he's He's building us up through putting us through the heart of the house of, of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. See, the, the heart of fools is is in a house of mirth. When that MOTB come out, they gonna take it. Okay, now could it be elect within that? Hey, I don't know. I'm not the Most High. Okay, the Most High he can pull out anybody. But as it as as we see, you know, hey, this is complete madness. This is this is the uh, the heart of the fools, and this is what Jake want to do. This is what Jake. This is what Jake is all about. There's a scripture on that. Let me bring a um. Let me just put type in play. Right. Exodus 32 and 6. Let me. Uh, right. Exodus 32 and 6. And they rose up early on the mor morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. See, that's that's the spirit of Jake, man. It's, it's all about folly. It's all about playing. Let's look at this word play. And I, this is this is when they made uh uh this is when Moses went up to get the laws, right? And and uh Jake made those those they had Aaron make those two those two calves and said, These are the gods that brought us out of Egypt. So this is the spirit, of, hey, th there's nothing new under the sun. These are the same Israelites coming back, okay, coming back in their lot. All about folly, all up all about playing, you know, cookouts. You say, oh, we, we got a cookout, you know, Hebrew Israelites come out, you know, for example, in the Bay Area. Oh, yeah. Hey, brother, all the all the Hebrew Israelites out there in the Bay Area, you know, we gonna have a cookout this Saturday after camp. Come bring you and your family. You know how many Israelites going to be there? Huh? You we never we never seen they ass. We've never we they never come to the camp. But guess what? They going to be at that cookout. You gonna have that music. You gonna have that wine. You gonna have that strong drink. You gonna have the women. You gonna have the kids playing. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. And you know what they gonna do? They gonna ask when the next cookout is, and they gonna be there. But are they gonna come for the word? No, absolutely not. Yahweh Shai even said that you came for the food. Okay, when he when he when he uh when he did the miracle. Okay, and he and he and he fed he fed so many thousands of people. They followed them. They was following them around, not because they wanted the word. It's because they wanted the food. They wanted to play. That word is taza quack. Okay. It says to laugh, mock, play, to laugh, to jest. See? To sport, to play, to make sport, toy with, make a toy. So here it is. Jake came out of Jake came out of Egypt in a in a in a spectacular fashion. Okay, the chariots there, and mind you, the chariots all is still here. Okay, the 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 uh the a cloud by day and a pillar a pillar of fire by night. The the chariot was still there. Okay. They the the, the Egyptians just got destroyed. Okay, the Lord was showing all type of miracles, and what is Jake's spirit? Jake's spirit was to mock and to play and to make sport, and this is the spirit of the Israelite. Like I said, if we would do a, a proclamation and say. You know, GMS, uh, San Francisco Bay Area, uh, 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 what is the 16th 
after camp we got a cookout we're gonna have lamb we gonna we gonna have salad we're gonna have chicken and mashed potatoes and cornbread okay come come on down all you hebrews all you israelites of the most high we're gonna we're gonna do a, a nation building cookout you know how many niggas will show up okay like i said it'll be all type of niggas be out there man okay you you never you never seen these they'll be all they'll be all up in the cookout okay trying to get a plate put make making a plate so they can go home then they're gonna ask you oh brother that was great you maybe we can hit them with a couple of scriptures they'll sit there for a couple of scriptures they'll sit there for 15 20 minutes and, and, and listen to the word and shake their head huh and then afterwards they'll eat and play and then they'll actually win the next cookout and they'll come back only for the cookout so to hell with these niggas man okay and this is the spirit of jay this was going on during the time of exodus and it's going on right now we're in a time of exodus once again because we about to exit up out of this bitch okay but it's going to be done by a different fashion okay the most high is not going to save the whole nation okay i'm done with that one Of Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise. So this, hey, a lot of these videos is rebuke. But it's from the rebuke of the wise. We're, we're trying to get your mind right. Okay, the Most High is trying to get your mind right. He's about to destroy this fucking place. <laughs> hey, but Jake, hey, hey man, Jake, has, Jake don't even give a shit. Okay, well, hey, the, it's prophecy. We ain't mad. You know, we get, you know, passionate. But we ain't mad. It's the prophecy of the Lord. We we're praying for mercy. We're hoping, like Lord, bubble shot. I can be part of that number that makes it out of here. The heart of the wise. Uh, I'm sorry, I read that. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. See, for as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. This also is vanity. It's vain. It's wickedness. It's empty. Okay, all that, la there's nothing wrong with, you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with a cookout, there's nothing wrong, you know, keep that shit separate. You know, brothers meet up, you know, brothers do things with each other, okay? But that's, but that's separate, man. We're here, we're here to speak the words of Yah Shai. That's it. It's simple. Go eat the roll, eat the roll, and then go out and speak to the children of Israel. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad and a gift destroy of the heart. Okay, and, and if you're wise, you're upset. Now, does that mean you're going to take arms and, and go destroy uh, 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 the small hats or, you know, go in a subway and shoot it up? No, but that's what Esau is trying to paint that picture. He's trying to say that, okay, these, uh, these so-called black identity extremists or these black uh, extremists or black Hebrew Israelites, you know, uh, they, have a, 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 they have a long record of saying this, saying that. Look, look at their YouTube channels. And it's sparking people to go out and commit violence. Like that one dude, Prophet of Truth 88. He had a YouTube channel for three years. He was spewing out all type of madness. We don't know shit. They, they could have just put that channel up. Okay? And then all of a sudden, he he went out and, and he did he, com he committed an a, a act of terrorism. And that's how they're going to try to paint that picture. No, just because you're mad doesn't mean, that, mean anything. The scriptures say, be angry and sin not. Okay, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And they're going to try to paint a picture that, we, that we're violent when they're the ones that are violent. That's called projection. Let's look that word up. Projection, meaning. Oh, you know, uh, in psychology, let's do that. And Esau, uh, the study of the mind, psychology. Ology is the study of, okay? Projection is the process of displacing one's feelings onto a different person see so he's actually doing it okay he he's like oh for like a, for example a relationship right you know you in a relationship with a woman here it is the woman is cheating but then she's starting to spark an argument with you saying you're cheating on her so-called right but she's really the one that's doing it so she's flipping it on you that's what Esau, here it is Esau, he's destroying, he's killing, he's, setting, he's trying to set up his new world order, he's casting all type of distractions, but then he's saying, you Israelites, you're the violent ones. You're like the, you're like the, the, uh, the, uh, the black KKK, 
when we never we never did anything to anybody we're the victim okay projection is the process of displacing one's feelings onto a different person animal or object the term is mostly common commonly used to describe defensive projection see esau's on the, the defense okay esau's on the defense so what is he doing he has to bl he's blaming other people because the eyes the, the whole world's eyes are turning on him okay so he has to point the finger no look see it's the israelite look at them right they're they're look they're just trying to destroy people they're doing this they're doing that when he's he all along, he's the one that's doing it. And you know what, Esau? You're going to be destroyed. Okay, the Heavenly Father, Yah Bashma Shai, is going to destroy you. Okay? We read about it all the time. That's our that's our story in this in the scriptures. Anytime you had anybody come up against the Israelites and try to, you know, uh, 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 uh blame us, the most high destroyed they ass. Okay, going into the book of, that's what that's what I wanted to read. I wanted to read the book of Judith, going into Haman. Okay, you got modern day Haman's coming up coming up against us but that's okay it's all written okay uh for example if someone continuously bullies and ridicules a peer this is what esau's doing about his insecurities the bully might be projecting his own struggle within him uh with self-esteem onto the other person right a bully saying oh look um look look at you, you don't you don't get uh uh you're ugly you know, he's look at look how ugly you are. Look at this, da, da, da. But the whole time the bully, he's looking at himself in a mirror, punching himself, slapping himself, crying, because he believes he's ugly. So he tries to project that on somebody else for everybody else's eyes to be on them and not to be on not to uh for everybody's eyes to be on him. Okay, that is some you know, a little psychology what Esau calls it, right? So we are going into the the uh the the uh the, the wise and the fools. The, the, how, the, uh, the house of the wise or the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning and the heart of the fool is in the house of mirth. Okay, let me bring this scripture out. Matthew 25 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven, let me get red letter. Um, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went to and went forth to meet the bridegroom. So the Lord is speaking in a parable in a parable likening the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of heaven is really is the knowledge the knowledge wisdom and understanding okay because the knowledge wisdom and understanding that's going to translate into us going into the kingdom physically wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure okay the five the and five of them were wise see in the house of sorrow and five were foolish in the house of mirth and you see it just that prime example of Hebrew nation building uh, page. And we can go on all different types of videos. You have IUIC, they did the fashion show. Now, is there anything wrong with a fashion show? There's nothing wrong with that. that there, that's not going off. But is that the image that you're supposed to be, is that the image that you want to show the Israelites? Those that are coming into this thing? Okay, you got a lot of new people that are coming into this thing. Is that the image that you want to project that this is this this is a uh, uh, folly. You do that. You do that shit. You know, amongst yourselves. You you could have did that. That could have just been for y'all. Okay, like brothers, we do stuff, but that's just for you know that's just for us. Okay, we're not we're not here to project that that image. Okay, on 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 the nation. Oh, this is what this is about. Now nah, this this is not what this is about. This is about preaching the words of Yah Bashamal Shai, preparing your mind, getting ready for the battle. Okay, we're getting your through the spirit and power, Yah Bashmal Shai, through the words of the prophet, we're getting you ready for the battle. We're getting you ready for the hour of temptation to resist the devil. Okay, to resist this satanic system that's being set up on the earth. Okay, because it's gonna to come to a point where the words are not gonna be there. It's just gonna be you and you and your faith. Okay. And and the thing, and you're gonna be judged according to the, the, the deeds that you did in your body, okay, as the scriptures say. It says, and five of them were wise, and five were foolish. <coughs> they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. See, they, so they don't have the oil, and you can see it. The oil was leaking out, so they don't have enough oil. When pretty, this is this is symbolic, okay? This is symbolic. 
oil the oil is the truth okay the oil is the the the, the, the knowledge wisdom and understanding but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps so the wise will constantly have that oil with them okay that's a necess that's necessary to light that lamp you got to have oil okay without the oil that's the fuel that's the spirit okay the spirit the oil is the fuel that's going to fuel the fire now you can have some oil and the oil can be lit but eventually the oil is going to run out okay that's why you have to you have to constantly trim your lamp while the bridegroom tarry yahweh shai is the bridegroom tearing means he went into the heavens he's not here with us physically the kingdom is not set up physically yet they all slumbered and slept okay Meaning we, we went into captivity, okay? Reincarnation, reincarnation, okay? And at midnight, there was a cry made. Now, now midnight, a cry is being made. We're at the end now. This is the, the end of the world. Behold, the bridegroom coming. Now the bridegroom is coming. Now we're saying the bridegroom, Yahweh Shai, he's about to come, okay? And you have certain people, certain of our people that are waking up, that are, that are out of that, that slumber-like sleep, Okay, behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Meaning, when you meet Yahweh Shai, you gotta be ready. You gotta have that. Uh, you gotta have that wedding garment on. Okay, which which represents that righteousness. You gotta. You got your mind has to be conformed into the image of Yahweh Shai before we're physically conformed into the image of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so if you are, if if you have to be a, a, a example of Yahweh Shai on earth, we have to be many Yahweh Shais on the earth perfect okay then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said unto the wise give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out when this thing gets serious then they gonna want they gonna want they gonna want the oil they gonna want the truth they gonna know well, what, do, what do i have to do it's too late bro it's too late you should have been getting it now but what what is jay doing they're 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 in the spirit of mirth they're in the spirit of folly Okay. But the wise answer saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. Basically, go get it yourself. But at that time, it's 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 closed up. The bridegroom is coming. You don't have no you don't have time to go get your tuxedo. Okay, to get your present. You know, you gotta get your wedding present, right? You gotta get your tuxedo, you gotta get your family. You know the their their uh their uh their their clothing for the wedding wedding that their garments. Okay, you gotta you gotta prepare everything. Well, you you should have already did that. Now you can't come into the wedding. You had your invitation, but you did. But there's certain stipulations for you to get into the wedding before you can actually be participant in the wedding. But you didn't you didn't you you uh, uh you you took you took it lightly. You didn't do all the necessary steps. You didn't want to be in a house of mourning. You you wanted to be in a house of mirth. You wanted to have the image of the world as well, as well as being an Israelite. Okay, you wanted to be a worldly Israelite. And while they went to buy, while they went to go get this truth, okay, the bridegroom came. So a lot of you Israelites gonna get caught with your pants down, so to speak. Meaning you gonna you gonna be caught not having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You gonna be caught not being a israel or the most high not being conformed and transformed by uh, uh by the by this word romans the 12th chapter you're not going to be born again okay you're not going to have the image of yahweh shai on you meaning you're not going to have that wedding garment and they went and they that went i'm sorry and they that were ready okay well there's a saying stay ready so you don't have to get ready Okay, blessed is he who, when the Lord cometh, shall find him doing. Meaning, you're doing, you're doing the work, you're doing the good works. You don't have to get ready. You don't have to go through the breakdowns again. You already know the breakdowns. You know, oh, what does that mean? Or is the uh, the MOTV is that the mark of the beast? You don't have to say that. You already know. Okay, you didn't take the MOTV. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut, just as the Lord he shut the uh, the uh, the ark. The spiritual ark is being we're building it right now. 
Okay, we're building it right now. Uh, so when that rain comes, okay, we can be we can be covered. Now who's gonna close that ark? Who knows the exact amount of Israelites that need to be sealed? Okay, before you know this thing, you know, commences to be destroyed. America commences to be destroyed, and the Lord comes back. The Lord knows. He only knows that. So he's going, okay, I'm going to close the door. Boom. Okay. No more. No more. We don't, there is, there is no, no more need for prophesying. There is no more need for warning the people. Okay. I got everybody that I needed. Okay. The, my, my house is filled. The ark is filled. Okay. Everybody else, you're going to be destroyed. Okay. Afterward came also the other virgins, right? The, the, the foolish virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. So a lot of Israelites that know that they're Israelites, the Most High going to say, I don't know you. Who the, who the hell are you? Okay. Watch therefore, for ye neither, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. There's a video that I was watching earlier of a man giving an excuse I believe it's on Apostle Elder Tar's page. A man, and I believe Apostle Elder Gabar, he did a, uh, I, I gotta watch that, his video. The man gave an excuse on why he left the truth. Okay, where is that at? I'm not sure, I gotta. It might be my history. Why he left. He, and he go back to the, the school back in the day. Okay, right here. This guy, he go back, he go way back. He know about Apostle Elder Tar. He know about Yari Yai. He know about the seven. Okay, look at him. Through. Done. Okay, let's read that again. Let's go back. You you don't know the time. Oh, I, I exited out of it. You don't you don't know the time. But in, in the year 2000, that, that was a stumbling block. Okay? Hey, the water y'all bashim al shah because look, if the year 2000, you know, commence, hey, we'll be done. But that's not the prophecy. Okay? That's not the prophecy. Okay? Let me read that. Matthew 25 and 13. Watch therefore. For ye need, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh, and obviously this man wasn't part of the elect. Okay, he get and he's given excuse why he fell out. Okay, there is no excuse. You got to continue to the end, and and them brothers they they said that he that endureth unto the end the same shall be saved. Okay, so do it all. They don't. It don't. It there is. There's really no excuse. There's no, there's no excuse not, you know, uh, uh, for you to fall out, so to speak. I'll say it like that, okay? You can't say, oh, well, you know, uh, this happened, that happened, okay? That's obviously you weren't, you weren't uh, 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 the, uh, the Israel or the Most High, okay? And you have a lot, you have a lot of Israelite, Israelites like that. Like this man, he knows he's an Israelite, but does he follow the doctrine? No. Okay, he, he could be on a comment board. You never you never know. There's a lot of there's a lot of you Israelites that fell out that are about to be destroyed. You're well, this, well, well, let's read that. This is he's he's part of the uh, the, um, the five that were uh, that were foolish, and you can see he's coming uh, he's coming to the camp because he wants that oil. Really, that's what that means. He wants that oil. He wants to know if there's a way to get back in. In his spirit, that's basically what his spirit is saying. And you're gonna have a lot of guys come up in these last days like that in this spirit. Some of them they're gonna be scoffing and scorning, but really in a heart of heart, deep inside them, they want to come back into this thing. But the most I will the scripture say it, it is impossible. Let's bring that out. Hebrews 6 and 4 for it is impossible. For those who were once enlightened, right, that, that light, Isaiah 60, right, starting at the top, that light has shined upon us, okay, you, we, now we are enlightened, meaning the light is now inside of us, okay, the light of Yahweh Shai, okay, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, un, understanding that we're Israelite, understanding the prophecies, 
understanding our role, what part we play in the, in the matter, okay? For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift, meaning these, these, uh, 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 the, this, this, this heavenly knowledge, to understand, okay, oh, damn, I'm, I'm, well, I'm from this tribe. Okay, okay, the Most High, okay, I'm this, and, you know, or the Lord, he's going to give us this, and, you know, we, you understand reincarnation, you understand all the, the nations, you understand the end of all things, okay? All the goodly things, that's the, that's the heavenly gift, because this word has not been given to all people. Just, just consider you, the believer, okay, and then your family. Your fam a lot of, your family, more than likely, they're not believers. Your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your, un your auntie, your uncles. Okay, your, your, even a friend. You might have came in a truth. You might have came in a truth and you try to show a friend. And then it, it, through a process of time, y'all split because what? Because they didn't receive that heavenly gift. Okay? And have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. Yo, the, the spirit, a lot of these guys, the spirit was on them for a point, a time. The most high, yeah, the most high, he'll give you the spirit. You had, you had a lot of, a lot of men back then that had the spirit on them that, that broke down the Hebrew, okay, that went, that went into the prophecies. A lot of revelations were, were given to them, okay. They were, they were partakers in the Holy Spirit, and I've tasted the good word of the most high, and the powers of the world to come right the powers of the world to come because ultimately we're speaking about a world to come okay the kingdom of heaven y'all shy spoke that he told his disciples preach and say that the kingdom of heaven is at hand the kingdom of heaven that's a, that, that right there that's that's literally paradise we're speaking paradise to our people we're gonna have new bodies anything that we want anything all our, our hearts desires gonna be given to us perpetually we're gonna be we're gonna be in rulership over all the nations we're gonna have servants and handmaids we're going to have any, any and everything and things that we can't even comprehend or don't even understand, we're going to receive for eternity, for everlasting life, okay? We, we speak it of the powers of the world to come, right? If they, if they shall fall away, right, if they fall out to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh and put him to an open shame, meaning basically... The Lord died for for no reason, okay. Now now the Lord he got to die he got to continue to keep dying, okay, uh, uh, uh um for for these guys to get it, okay. Let's read that again. If they fall away, which this guy he fell away, he wants the Lord to go back on a cross to die for his sins again. Okay, that's not happening. The Lord he died one time, okay, for the uh, remission of sins. Okay, starting with the elect first, and that's going to trickle down to all the, the whole nation. Which the, the, our nation's in disarray. Our nation's completely done. They're finished. Okay? And, and well, the scriptures tell, tell you in John, the third chapter, men love darkness rather than light. Okay? He, he's, he's been seeing. He's been seeing what's going on, and now he's getting scared. And you're going to have a lot of Israelites come up that are going to be scared, okay, because they see the prophecies coming to pass. And really, they didn't have faith. Okay? They didn't have faith. Say, so if they shall fall away to renew um, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh, afresh and put him to open shame. Okay, I think there's any more on this. But basically it says it's impossible. So if you fall out of this thing, you're done. You stop teaching, you're done. Okay, there, there's a, a, a you know, um, a, a mar. There's a mar on your on your record. Okay, but let me bring this out. Let me just jump down. Hebrews six and ten. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which our apostles they still been laboring. If it, if it was up to if it was, if if the kingdom and the nation being edified, if it was up to a guy like this, we'll be done. We'll be we'll be finished. Look at him; he looked defeated. He looked done. Okay. You you have to continue to labor. It don't matter. It, it, it don't matter. Whenever the Lord come back, 
You, if you in this thing, you got to be in this thing to the end. You got to die in this truth. Okay? You got you to gotta die teaching. You, you, a prophet, you can't, oh, I'm, oh, I'm done prophesying. Or, I'm, okay, uh, I'm 50 years old now. Now I can retire. Now, now, now I can go to Hawaii now. I got a, I got a beach house in Hawaii. Now, now, now I can travel the world. Now, nah. we're, we're, hey, Lord's what we going to prophesy until this, this bitch is destroyed. Okay? Yah, Basham, Shai, willing. That's a spirit that he has on us. Okay, we, we pray to the Lord that he keep that Holy Spirit upon us. Okay, and take not his Holy Spirit away from him. The Holy Spirit was taken away from him, uh, taken away from this guy. The little portion that the Lord gave him, the Lord took it. At one point, he believed that he was an Israelite. Okay, and then the year 2000 didn't come, and then he fell out. Why? Because he didn't have faith. But you have certain men that kept going. That's hey, that's why you, hey, we have to give double honors to our apostles. Okay, that that's that's a heavy thing, man, to keep going. Especially when, you know, because now this thing is big, you know, you got a lot of Israelites everywhere. But back then when it wasn't, you know, they was they was prophesying for years when nobody was listening, man. Okay, but the most high was listening. Let's read, let's read the scripture. The Lord is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Let's read it. Hebrews 6 and 10, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he has showed towards his name, because we're laboring, we're working for the name of the Lord. We're literally sacrificing, which really is our reasonable service. It's nothing to be proud about. You, hey, we're unprofitable, sir. We supposed to do this. You supposed to prophesy, okay? Which ye have showed towards his name and that ye have ministered, meaning in the past, okay, did videos in the past to the saints who are the Israelites and do minister, meaning you're continually teaching. You have to, you have to uh, uh, keep teaching. Okay, you you have to uh, 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 continue to teach to the end. Okay, you can't stop this. Okay, just like hey earlier, hey earlier, my my battery was dying. Hey, the spirit was still on me. Hey, I got I got to get I got to get to the Lord's. So I get to the house. Spirit still on me. Send him a prayer. We gotta I gotta hey we gotta continue to keep pushing out this word. Okay, Satan is not stopping. Okay, so we, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemosh, we not going to stop. We're going to keep going. Okay, because the spirit of the Lord is on us to do that. And I got to get, oh, I think I read the Isaiah 61. Did I read that? Yeah, I read that. Well, let me, let me find the scripture. Right. Luke. <clears throat> um. Yep, I'm gonna start at 35. It's in in the blue letter has the title here for this, starting at Luke 12 and 35. Be in readiness, okay. Be in readiness. Be ready, okay. Let your loins be girded about and your and your lights burning. See, as we are reading in Matthew 25 about having that oil, okay, to continue to keep your light burning, okay. Because the the oil, if you don't continue to keep that light burning. Through the oil, if you don't continue to pull from the spirit of Yah Basham Al Shai, that light gonna go out. Let me get my charger. One moment. Okay, if you don't continue to keep that oil, okay, then your light going to go out. So you have to continue to keep your light burning. You have to continue to teach. And that's one way to stay ready. Well, just like going to the gym. What, like boxing, right? Boxing, I, I boxed pretty much my whole childhood. Boxing is year round. Okay? And pretty much you box year round because you never know when a fight is going to come. You got to be ready. Okay, so teaching, you got to teach year round. The scriptures say that be instant in season. Right, let's bring that out. You got to be instant all through the season. Okay, it's not a seat. This is not a seasonal thing. Okay, you hibernate in the winter and then you go out in the spring and, and you know, some, some in the fall and in the summer. 
what is nice. <clears throat> it, it don't go down like that. Second Timothy four. You know, it, it's not like you gotta you gotta continue to speak, and you gotta be ready to feed the sheep, feed the flock of Yah Ba Shimon Shai. Okay, because our people are spiritually uh, 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 hungry. Okay, they're hungry. They need this food daily. Edifying daily. You need to eat daily, right? Huh? Well, you got to have this word daily. Well, the blue letter, hey, they said it. Preach the word. Okay. Uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. That means all year round. Reprove. That's part of the job of the prophet. And Jake don't like that. Jake don't like to be reproved. Rebuke. Jake don't like to be rebuked. Okay, within the nigga community, okay, you so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans, reproving and rebuking, that's off limits. You can't tell nobody what to do. You ain't my mama, you ain't my daddy. And look, look at the look at the state you Israelites are in. Completely done. Completely finished. Why? Because there's no correction. There's no reprove. There's no rebuke. And you niggas can't take rebuke. You take, you, hey, Jake can't take it. What do they do? They'll pull out a gun and shoot you. Exhort, we also exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. See? For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And, and we're in that time. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And, and this is why, you know, and I can, I can continue, but I'm, I just got the point. This is why Jake loves these false prophets. Because these false prophets are telling them, like Nate, Nate, and we we heard you, Nate. You said there would be no Jacob's trouble. You said that Jacob is going to just be la la di, la la da, and go into the kingdom. Okay? Now you're changing your tune. Okay? These guys are wicked as hell. Okay? But through the spirit and power of Yah, Bashim al Shai, we have never changed the tune. Really, we've been blowing the trumpet even louder. Okay? The the, uh, the 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 sound of war, the Lord is coming. Yah Bashem Al Shai. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay. And if you don't like the videos, just start watching them. Just do whatever. I don't know what I don't know what you Jakes be doing. Do whatever you be doing and get ready for get ready to be destroyed. Okay. But to the, those who 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 love uh, the word of Yah Bashem Al Shai, I say Shalom to you. Continue to do the good works. Okay. And the Most High is not going to forget that. Okay, he hears our prayers. I'm back in Luke. Luke 12 <clears throat> and 36. And ye yourselves like, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord. So we're, wait, we're still waiting. Our Lord is not here. Okay, so we have to continue to do what he told us to do until he returns. Okay, when he will return from the wedding, there goes that wedding again. Okay, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. So when the Lord come, we ready, we ready to go, we ready to be beamed up. We don't have the karagma. Okay, we have the true doctrine. We're calling on the right name. Okay, we have beards on our faces. We're not lined up. Okay. We're not, we're not in the image of this world. We're on the run. Really, at this time, we're on the run. Okay? Blessed are all those servants, see? We're servants. Okay? Whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Meaning doing the work. I-N-G, that's what they call the, the, um, the present tense. Okay? Or the doing tense. I mean you're doing something watching or, or or you're watching TV means you're presently watching TV you're running meaning you're you're presently running it's not a past tense this is this is present tense meaning you're actually doing something right this very second verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them this is when the, the kingdom of heaven is hey once that happened we beamed up then the Lord he going that 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 uh that uh, uh, that supper, that wedding, we're going to be sitting down, the Lord, he's going to divvy up everything, 
all right, here, brother, you get this planet, you get this solar system, you get this, you get that, boom, 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 boom. All you get here is here's all your gold, here's your silver, your precious jewels, here's your wives, da 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 da. You're gonna get this land, pop up. He gonna divvy everything up. And if he shall come in a second watch or in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. So it, 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 whatever watch, because there was different watches, the first, second, and third watch, you know, meaning the, 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 um, the time of day or night that a, a watchman will watch, right? Well, we're the watchman, but we're watching. There is no break. It's continuous, okay? So blessed is that servant who's, who's watching throughout all the watches. If the Lord come in the second watch, he's there. If the Lord come in the third watch, he's there. <clears throat> and this know that if the good man of the house, yeah, if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, and the Lord, is he not the thief that's coming? He would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken through. Like, you're right. You, you knew that there was a thief coming at a particular time. You'd be ready for that thief. But ye therefore, but ye therefore ready also, I'm sorry, be ye therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when ye think not, okay? So we have to continually to be, and you go into the, it, it pretty much goes into the same thing, okay? About the good steward, okay? But we have to be, we have to be ready at all times, man, okay? I'm done this scripture, let me just, yeah, let me let me see. I might just finish off here. I was gonna go to Isaiah 60, but let me just finish off here. What well, Yahweh Shai told Peter, which was the head of the disciples. And 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 he's he's telling us as well. We have to be in the spirit, okay, of of Peter. Okay. Um let me see where I'm gonna start. Let me start at 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. The lambs of Yahweh Shai are his servants, his people, the Israelites, the elect. We're not here, here to build uh, 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 the whole nation. We're only here to feed the lambs of the Heavenly Father. Those who the Lord brought into this thing, we're feeding you, the ones that are watching these videos and are that are sincere and that are changing their ways, that are conforming to the image of Yah Basham Al Shai and not this world, that are in the house of mourning, mourning with us. It tells you that in, is that Matthew 11, okay, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto uh, children sitting in the marketplace calling out to their fellows saying we have piped unto thee and ye have not danced we have mourned unto ye unto thee and ye have not lamented so we're only mourning with those that are mourning with us we're only piping to those that are dancing okay you know you you a band and you playing you know you playing at an event and nobody feeling your music you like man I'm get I ain't coming back here you know but you 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 a bad and the crowd they you they feeling it. You gonna even you gonna get down even more. That's who you want to come back and play with. Like yeah, I want I want to come back to this venue. Yeah, I want to come back to this this city. They feeling it. Okay, I got I got something new for them. I got a song just for them. Okay. He said again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee, he said unto him, Feed my sheep. See that? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. So the Lord said it three times. Okay? So that's why we have to continue to speak. The Spirit is on us. Don't quench the Spirit. We got we got to speak. Okay? You know what? I'm actually going to go to... Um, I'm actually going to go to Isaiah. It's Isaiah 62. 
The Lord's will will end it there. Unless the Spirit hit me with something else. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. See? So it don't matter what watch. You have the watchmen there. Okay, that's plural. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. We don't, hey, the Lord, hey, we're, we're commanded to speak. We speaking about the MOTB because that's the last prophecy that's about to be fulfilled. Okay? And we we going to continue to speak about it until the Lord says you don't have to speak about it no more. And, and, and hey, and these other Israelite groups that keep speaking out against it, we gonna speak. We gonna speak the true words of Yahweh Bashmasha even more. Okay, we gonna flood. We gonna flood the internet with truth. Okay, we gonna flood the world with truth. Okay, so nobody has an excuse in that day. You've heard it. Okay, whether you hear or whether you forbear, the Lord told us to speak to the children of Israel. We shall never hold their peace day nor night. See. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Okay? So the prophets of the Lord, they will never keep silence. That's a, a, another indicator of who they are. They will continue to speak. Why? Because they're driven by a higher power. They're driven by the spirit of Yah Basham Shai. And give him no rest. Who? No rest. The Heavenly Father. Till he established, until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right? Until the Lord makes right on his promise it's a promise the lord promises certain things we we have not received it yet okay so until that happens we're going to be on the lord's line okay let's read verse eight the lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength surely i will no more give thy corn to uh, i'm sorry my eyes is all bad the lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies. And the sons of strangers shall, no, shall not drink thy wine for, for the which thou hast labored. But they shall be gathered. But they that have gathered it shall eat it and praise the Lord. And they, have, and they that have brought it together shall drink in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people cast up cast up the highway gather gather out the stones lift up a standard for the people this is what we're doing okay we're getting everything prepared okay this word is preparing everything that we're heralding in the lord of we're heralding the lord yahweh Shai in so the nation so we can be a, a as a adorned bride a virgin bride ready to be married the lord don't want no no hope no whore okay behold the lord has proclaimed unto the end of the world say ye to the daughter of zion behold thy salvation coming and this is what we're speaking we're not speaking this to no other nation we're saying to the daughter of zion which are the israelites you so-called black hispanic native americans we're saying the lord is coming your salvation cometh okay behold his reward is with him and his work before him and that reward is coming as well. Okay. The Lord said he's not a man that, um, uh, uh, that forget the, your, your work and labor of love. Okay. That reward is coming. Okay. That's that everlasting life. That's that new body. That's the dominion over the nations. Okay. That rod of iron. Okay. Uh, pleasures evermore. And they shall call them the holy people. Right now we're not being called the holy people. The redeemed of the Lord, see? And though and thou shalt be called, I'm sorry, and thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Right? Because as, as it stands right now, the other nations believe that we that the most high forsook us. But they don't understand the prophecies. And they're gonna see, and, and they, that's what they're gonna say. A redeemed nation, a, a, a city not forsaken, okay? So, you know, I'm going I'm to end it there. All praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom to the elect.